A NASA spacecraft is ready to set sail for Jupiter and its moon Europa, one of the best bets for finding life beyond Earth. Europa Clipper will peer beneath the moon's icy crust where an ocean is thought to be sloshing fairly close to the surface. It won't search for life, but rather determine whether conditions there could support it. Another mission would be needed to flush out any microorganisms lurking there. It's believed that there could be a vast global ocean under this ice and where there's water, NASA says, perhaps there could be life, said Associated Press space reporter, Marsha Dunn. Its massive solar panels make Clipper the biggest craft built by NASA to investigate another planet. It will take five and a half years to reach Jupiter and will sneak within 16 miles of Europa's surface underscore considerably closer than any other spacecraft. One of Jupiter's 95 known moons, Europa is almost the size of our own moon. It's encased in an ice sheet estimated to be 10 miles to 15 miles or more thick. Scientists believe this frozen crust hides an ocean that could be 80 miles or more deep. The Hubble Space Telescope has spotted what appear to be geysers erupting from the surface. Discovered by Galileo in 1610, Europa is one of the four so-called Galilean moons of Jupiter, along with Ganymede, Io and Callisto. What type of life might Europa harbor? Besides water, organic compounds are needed for life as we know it, plus an energy source. In Europa's case that could be thermal vents on the ocean floor. Deputy project scientist Bonnie Baratti imagines any life would be primitive like the bacterial life that originated in Earth's deep ocean vents. We will not know from this mission because we can't see that deep, she said. Unlike missions to Mars where habitability is one of many questions, Europa Clipper's sole job is to establish whether the moon could support life in its ocean or possibly in any pockets of water in the ice. One of the biggest uh, launches for the whole year is coming up soon. Uh, the Europa Clipper is actually going to launch from right here at Kennedy Space Center in Florida to uh, Jupiter. And the destination, while it may be Jupiter, it's actually one of the 95 moons of Jupiter, Europa. And scientists have long been intrigued with Europa even though it has an icy shell, an icy crust, it's believed that there could be a vast global ocean under this ice and where there's water, NASA says, perhaps there could be life. Well, this is the first uh, mission ever devoted to Europa. There have been spacecraft that have gotten up close and personal with Jupiter before, flybys, if you will, other missions. But really, the, the emphasis, the focus here is Europa. And in fact, they see Europa is, is quite possibly the best bet for life outside our planet if it's there. And so that's why they want to go to Europa. Now, the Clipper, um, which by the way is a huge spacecraft, um, it needs gigantic solar wings because it's so far from the sun and you need a lot of power. And when the wings are unfurled, it's uh, longer than a basketball court. So this giant spacecraft, uh, one of the biggest ever built for interplanetary studies, is going to be going, orbiting Jupiter. But every time it orbits Jupiter, it's going to get really close to Europa. And in fact, 49 close flybys are planned of Europa. So it's going to take almost six years until 2030 for Europa Clipper to reach Jupiter, and that's going to be almost 2 billion miles of travel by the time it gets there.
NASA says every time they're talking to, to people, this is not a life detection mission. Europa Clipper is not going to go up there and look for life per se. It's going up there to see if the conditions could be right to support life. 